those of you who took part in World IPv6 Day on June 8th by publishing Quad A Records for your site, congratulations! From nearly all sides, it seems that World V6 Day was a success. We saw V6 enabled companies and networks, not just sites. We experienced a bump in V6 traffic during the 24 hour period. Also, the V6 traffic levels are higher today than they were June 7th. Now we raised quite a bit of awareness for the IPv6 transition movement. There were bugs and some quirks found, of course. That, however, allowed us to fix them and to install upgrades on networks where needed. The amount of user complaints was very low as well. Anecdotally, it seems that most of the troubles on World IPv6 Day could be contributed to content provider deployment error rather than malconfigurations on the user side. Large end-user entities made the move to v6, maybe only to grab some of the spotlight, but the move happened. Also, vendors seized the moment to iron out some of the v6 bugs present in various software and solutions. As intended, it gave many organizations a chance to meet the technical challenges of IPv6 while rewarding them with recognition from the public and the IT community. We saw over 400 major websites go dual stack in just one day with a very low rate of technical problems. As we mentioned earlier, any v6 solution implemented on World IPv6 Day should have been as good or of better quality than IPv4. By staying with production quality solutions for their transition plans, organizations have been able to make the decision to stay dual stacked. As Hurricane Electric's Martin Levy remarked recently, the major win has been that IPv6 exposure has been raised to the executive level within many organizations. V6 transition projects once just kept in the background now have the chance to become managed projects with higher priority, visibility, and greater chances for implementation. One other factor that isn't as visible to the public eye is the satisfaction with which many early V6 proponents observed World IPv6 Day due to the much, much higher degree of sustained cooperation between various groups within the IT community up to and during World IPv6 Day. The day was won with teamwork. On a train ride back from an IPv6 conference in Prague, I noticed a gentleman sitting next to me reading a newspaper article on IPv6 with the headline, It's time to move to the new protocol. This is just one more sign that V6 is now steadfastly where it needs to be, visible and in the mainstream.